Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moikens from Big Mountain Studio, and this week's tip has to do with UI. And the problem that we're going to be solving is how to make text show up on any different background. So at some point you might be making an application where you have text that is against a background that changes color. Or in this case, we have this example application where we can't predict what the background is because the images will keep changing. So in some of these cases, the text shows up just fine, like with this picture right here. But in other cases, you can see where you totally lose the text. So how can you solve that? You know, some places are it looks good, and some places it doesn't look good. So what we need to do is find a way or a color or something to solve this problem. Well, one of the first things you can do is actually just change the color. So we'll come here, we'll change this to white, and we'll see how that looks. Okay, good. So it shows up it shows up well on a lot of these pictures. Almost all of them actually, except for this last one where it is completely white down here at the bottom. Okay. So the changing of the color helped us partially. So what else can we do? Well, there's another property on the label that you can also change. And that is the shadow property. So we can give it a like a black shadow, and if you take a look at this here, you can see that it makes the text show up a little bit better. So that might actually do it for us. And by the way, there's shadow offset, so you can change where that the black shadow is. Okay, this looks pretty good. And that actually helped us solve a lot of the problem. It's still, I'm still not convinced though. This, this might solve maybe 90% of the problems, but you're probably still going to get some instances where it's completely white and the text will be in such a way that it will be hard to read again. So let's check out some of our other options that we have. Well another one is, you might not know this, but let me change this here back to the way it was. Okay, you have another option. Through the labels layer, you can actually create a blurred text behind the existing text. And it might not be so obvious. Now you might have known that you can create drop shadows on UI views. Well, you can do the same thing with a label and it will just create the drop shadow on the text itself. But there's no properties for it, so we have to code it. Unless you want to use my uh, Designable X repository, which I have on GitHub and you can download. And what I did is I created a, a custom UI label right here, UI label X. And you can see I have these properties for shadow. And what this does basically, these properties all have this IB inspectable attribute, which makes this property like shadow opacity show up in the attributes inspector on the label. If you're using a UI label X class. So there's these four different properties that I can use to adjust this shadow. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, I have the label selected. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is set the custom class. So I'm just going to click on this drop down. And here you see the custom class right here, UI label X. And then it's going to update it. And if I come to the attributes inspector, now it has all these extra properties that belong to UI label X. I don't know where the UI goes. I don't know how they choose this naming, <laughs> but it's just that here's the attributes for label X. Now what we want is these shadow properties right here. And the first one we're going to set is the shadow opacity. And that is all it really takes to show this shadow underneath the text is to turn it on. So the shadow is already there. It's just it can't be seen because the opacity is set to zero. And what we want to do is you can see the shadow is kind of like above the position of the text. So that's the height property on the shadow offset. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to change it to zero there. Now it's like directly behind it. Now this might be okay. We can run it and see how this looks. Actually, let's just preview it right here in the storyboard. I'm going to set this image and the one that I think we had the hardest looking at might be this one right here, winter. Okay, so this makes it a little bit easier to read with that shadow behind it. Let's select the label again. 
There's another property that you can play around with too called shadow radius. And what that does here, let's zoom in. Take a look at that shadow around the text as I increase the radius. So this is this is zero right here. You can see there's like very little shadow. And that's one, two, three. You see the more I click it, the, the more diffused and larger or, or wider it gets. So you want to find a good one that you think will work. And I think five will work for our purposes. So let's run this and see how this looks. Okay, still looks good. And you can see the effect that it has on these other backgrounds. Okay, that's good too. All right, so this looks awesome. Now there's one thing I want to teach you, or there's one thing I want to show you about this shadow radius. And that is, it will not work if you give the label a background color. Okay, let me show you here. So by default, background is, is, is nothing. I think it's probably clear. But what if we set the background to black? You see the shadow goes around the border now of the, where the black ends, the shadow begins. So you cannot do this with a background color. You have to set it to a clear color or the default like that. Okay, that's just one note. All right, now you also have a third option. So let's go here, let's take off this custom class and set it back to the way it was. Oh, here's something to note too. When you set properties on a custom class, they actually just store them here in the user-defined runtime attributes. So you can get rid of those if you want. We don't need them anymore. Okay, so what's this third solution that we can go with? Well, it's actually an idea that Google came up with, and that's to give a shadowed gradient behind some text to make it visible, or behind controls to make them visible. And what they do is they call it a, a scrim. Scrim is a, it's like this heavy, it's a heavier duty material. And I think they called it scrim because it has to do with material and their whole design, all their design principles are based around material design. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a UI view and we are going to put it up here like that. And I'm just going to come over here to the auto resizing and make sure that on different size phones, it'll always stretch out like you see in this preview here. And what else do we want to do here? Oh yeah, let's put it in the back. Okay, now we want it to be clear color. So let's get rid of that white. Now we want to apply we want this view to be able to show a gradient. And you can do that in code too, but I've also created a UI view X designable where it'll create a gradient if you just give it a couple of properties. So let's use that right here. And now you see all these additional properties here. So here's the gradient, it's the first color and the second color. So for the first color, what I'm going to do is maybe use like a, a dark gray. There we go. And the second color, see it, you still can't see the image behind it. So I'm going to set the second color to a clear like that. Okay. And I think what I do is I try to go with the lightest color so it doesn't affect the image or whatever color is behind it. So I try to go as light as I can. Let's come here and I'm just going to manually adjust this here. You know, like we have white, but I'm going to maybe like this and then adjust the opacity. Opacity, usually you can go pretty low. Like let's go to 25, for example. Eh, 26 is close enough. And let's just make it a little bit darker like that. That, that might work. You can still see the title here. So that stands out. This will probably be white as well. So let's make sure you can still see that. Yeah, that's hard to see, right? So let's go a little bit darker on our gradient. Okay, and then let's increase the opacity here a little bit. That might work. Let's take a look at that, see what that looks like. Okay. And as you can see, it doesn't really change the image color that much. So we just want it just enough so we can read it. And this is still kind of hard to read, right? So let's just, you know, we might just have to make it all the way black. Like that. All right, that, yeah, we might have to do that. And let's 
increase the opacity just a little bit. Yeah, let's try that. All right, better. So you can see you can adjust it and play with it. So that's three options I gave you to be able to make text show up better against unpredictable backgrounds, different colored backgrounds. You can give it a, use the shadow property of the text label, or you can go through the layer like we did here on the UI label. We went through the layer property here and changed the shadow properties there. And that creates that blurred shadow behind the text. Or you can create a scrim, which is basically a gradient behind the text, which goes from a darker color to a lighter color to make the text show up better. So there you go, guys. Three UI tips on making text show up. If you guys want to share any of your ideas, or if you have a fourth way or fifth way that you've used in the past, put it in the comments below. Let's check it out. You can share with uh, the rest of the community. All right, guys, thank you very much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider sharing it with your friends. And remember, YouTube also allows you to do translations. So if you want to translate the title and the description for this video, it's right next to the share button. You can click on that and then go into translations. All right, thanks, guys. Consider subscribing because these videos come out every Monday. Bye.